Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Steel Donut Collective. My name is Connor, and with me today is Yella. Good day. And Matt. Hey, I'm Matt. And we all remember Harry Potter, right? You know, oh, yeah. the four houses, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. Yeah, Slytherin, well, uh, Gryffindor. Yeah. yeah. I bet you guys had never heard about the fifth house, Ooh. Slitherclaw. What? Uh, no. But luckily, because uh, of fanfiction.net, we're going to get to hear about it. Slitherclaw today. sounds like a sick wrestling name. <laughs> yeah, or like a sick wrestling move. Oh yeah, dude, Randy Orton does I'm the Slither Claw. Take him down yeah. with the Slither Claw. So this is Slither Claw by Fluffy Green Thing and Matt. Why don't you give us the description? Alrighty, this is a story of the fifth house and how it came to be. One shot, OC. Alrighty, that's there all you, you need to that's know. Need I to mean, know. hopefully that's piqued your interest because you're like, but wait a second, you know. There's only four. There's only Gryffindor and Slytherin, only... Ravenclaw, and other. There's well, only I Gryffindor, read... yeah. Yeah, Raver, maybe... Raver, Raven. Maybe for yeah. the 20th anniversary re-release, they to add in. more details in. Yeah. Yeah. There's gonna be, yeah. There's gonna be all permutations of houses. <laughs> we're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to about, hear about Huffledor in a separate story. <laughs> oh yeah, Huffledor is my favorite. Class. But all right, here we go. Slitherclaw. That does sound like a badass wrestling move. (laughs) It is. This is the story of the fifth house. As the four founders formed Hogwarts, two of them secretly eloped. Uh (gasps) Uh-huh. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Behind the scenes, TMZ presents. Behind the scenes, I guess. Oh, sheesh. Sure. Okay. Whatever will we do about it? I I guess. I, I mean, they did it in secret, so nobody knows. No one knew anything of it, but nine months later, a child was born. Wow, they got on that real quick. Yeah. Yeah. It's they like flip around. <laughs> well, let's elope, and they immediately fucked. We did everything on our bucket list. We formed Hogwarts. <laughs> let's fuck. I mean. There's yeah, nothing left. Yeah. <laughs> the two parents didn't want anyone to know of this child or their marriage, so they, they gave married? the child away to a wizard family after making them think that they had the child. What? So Wait, they oh, made them think they had a child and then didn't? They just Damn. Brainwash uh, so they brainwashed this family to think they had ch- they had this child. Harry oh. Potter's got enough dark theories, dark alternate e- theories. <laughs> I don't want to go down this road. <laughs> no, you're, you're absolutely The correct. true secret of blah blah blah. <laughs> they were in purgatory all along. Secretly yeah. they were dying all along. Oh no wait, that's Final Fantasy VIII. They kept as close an eye on the child as they could without actually being near the child. <laughs> they watched okay. it from far away. They had also, to keep within the police regulated <laughs> 500 <laughs> feet. Yeah. <laughs> that the restraining also, order called for. Can we just go back real quick? They didn't want anyone to know of this child or their marriage. They didn't just, you know, elo- they didn't just fuck. They also got married, but they're keeping it secret. Yes. They're diving two, way in on this. You no, know, these two large public figures. Yes. I mean, good luck. Good yes. luck to you. Eleven years passed and another year at Hogwarts started. The first years were taken to the school by boats and sorted into the four houses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. As, one you student, As you do. One student stood out in particular. Arabella Slitherclaw. What a name. Oh, God. Why is that her name? That's not on the nose at all. So you're telling me the two eloped, made a child, passed the child off to another family, Mm -hmm. but the child still got the last name of the two. Both of them. Yeah. Combined last name. That's not how you do last names. (laughs) So did the two give them to the Slitherclaw family? Or was there a note that says, like, this... Girl's last name is Slitherclaw. Do not change it. I don't know. They That's... brainwashed the Smith family, but <laughs> Arabella had to keep the, last the name Slitherclaw. Also, uh, well, again, do... that's not how last names work. Yeah, is it that, is. It's totally is that how it. Harry Potter works? Like the kids don't get the last name of like the dad 
or the mom, but they get them combined. This is <sighs> dumb on every level. <laughs> I feel like that could just sum up this entire story. Yeah. Fair. The four founders were sitting at the high table. Two in particular were careful not to look at each other. <laughs> I, I told you this was a mistake. Uh, I told you this contact. wasn't a good idea. Contact. I made a contact. Yeah. <laughs> Why are those two, like, making extra sure not to look at it? There, there, there's four of us here. Yeah. And two there's of us only... are being really what? awkward and not looking at each other. Don't you think it's a little weird? <laughs> they were buddy buddies, but then the kids walked through the door, and now the two are just like... They they're just all sorts of awkward around each other. each other. It's weird. Yeah. It's like they're trying to keep something a secret. It's I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> After ten years, they were getting tired of this, I don't know, maintaining over children business. <laughs> God. I don't want Hogwarts to be like a daycare. Oh my god. <laughs> the four were retreating to the lounge sooner and sooner in the day. It seems like the wizard's secret stash was getting broken into sooner and sooner. <laughs> okay. Their daughter was at Hogwarts. Godric's sorting hat was put on her head and stayed there for a long while. It was whispering in her ear. As you do. Yeah. You are the splitting... Oh, sorry, you... Yeah, that's right. You are <laughs> the splitting image of your parents. The most intelligent and eager to learn student I have ever seen, but also the most cunning and ambitious one. Where to put you? Where indeed? The hat kept murmuring things like this for a quarter of an hour. It's been 45 wow. minutes, hat. You having fun? Amazing. It's been fun down there, hat. Amazing. It decided on every other kid in like 10 seconds, but it's sitting here and for literally 15 minutes. Just for one. 15 minutes, just on this girl's head, and everybody's just, you know, most people are just getting kind of bored and just half falling yeah, asleep everyone, at this point. Kind of you see around. some people just, you know, they're not, their heads just nodding like they're, oh, they're I was gonna say, slowly you see some nodding people re retreating to the lounge for this, yeah. this student's <laughs> Shit, did the hat run out stash. of juice? Magic juice? What do you do to this Does thing? it need new batteries? Yeah, what is you, this? You like, plug it in? I'm new to this wizarding thing. I'm a first year, okay? <laughs> I only just went through, went on the train, and then the boat. You I know. want you to imagine that the the two up there are just not making eye contact for fifteen minutes. This just is the longest desperately trying to not look lives. at each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody else is just staring at that hat that is completely silent for like fifteen minutes. Well, it's not silent. It's casually <laughs> it's whispering things into her ear. I mean, it's from, her, from it's their perspective, sweet nothings it's... into Arabella's oh, little no. ear. Oh no, she's only like she's only a child. Please, Let's whispering nothing to <laughs> make Let's the world no. no, maybe we should retreat to my private chambers to discuss no. this further. She's only eleven year old. You prefer that fucking hat? <laughs> yeah, that was a little too far. The <laughs> other students were beginning to get restless, but Arabella didn't seem bothered. She sat wow. on the chair straight, waiting patiently for the hat to make its decision, a blank expression on her face, as if she was simply bored of this. Oh, um, everyone else was, okay, too! Okay, wait, wait, she's waiting patiently, but also bored. Yes. No. Maybe she has resting boredom face or something. <laughs> resting, you know, instead of resting bitch face. Yeah, yeah resting boredom face. The teachers and founders began to worry. What if this girl doesn't have it in her to be in any of the houses? Well, I oh. mean, you're all, you always have it in you to be in Hufflepuff, since that's just where everybody else goes. But yeah. what if you don't even make it into Hufflepuff? I'm sure Hogwarts has a oh, back damn. alley or two you can stay in. <laughs> you, can, you can just audit your entire seven years at Hogwarts. Oh. Can you? Oh, that'd be sweet. Yeah, I'd be all right with that. Hmm. They were on the right train of thought, but they were wrong. So they were not uh, I guess on they the right train, on the right train of thought. Then. Oh my god, I love sentences like that. <laughs> they were right, but wrong. Uh, they were right, but actually, they were wrong. Yeah. You thought they were right? No, they were wrong. She had too much of the two houses to be put in either, and not enough of the others. The Sorting Hat had finally made its decision. 
Well, <laughs> since you are unfit to go to any other house, you shall go to Slitherclaw. What? 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 Can't Everyone was like, rules on the spot. <laughs> uh, hat, uh, you know the, you know that like the paperwork we have to go through to introduce a new house here. You cannot just yeah. make this shit up, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah this, you're going uh, like, above your jurisdiction here, hat. <laughs> Hat, come on, think of I the got, fucking paperwork, all right? Come on, this, I got The bureaucracy is gonna to, be a nightmare. Yeah, the, we have to go and get another house registered. We have to add it to the building? What the fuck? Goddamn hat, every time. Yeah, every, every year. Time. Every, every single year, the hat pulls this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what a practical joker. I swear joker. it's getting defective. We need a new one. Yeah. We need a new hat. As she calmly walked over to another table that appeared in between Ravenclaw and Slytherin. Oh, now the hat's making tables appear too? Fucking how? <laughs> there was like walk, like two person wide walkways between them. Yeah, it just, <laughs> just a, did, the all, did, did, did the tables. No, did the, no, did, did the, the table just launched everybody who was at it off? <laughs> it was just. I mean, did it did belong room? to like Slytherin, but then they just kicked everybody off the table. Yeah, it bucked them off. And yeah, it just, just like <laughs> bucked them off. Goodbye. This, this is the Slitherclaw table. I guess you have to slither in a corner over there. <laughs> the Slytherin floor, as they yeah. call it. <laughs> as she calmly walked over to another table that appeared in between Ravenclaw and Slytherin, everyone had one question on their mind. What made this girl so special that she got her own house? No, really, what? What? Yeah. Honest question. I mean, if they are, like, fitting for two houses, you know, like Harry himself was, they can just choose, maybe? No, no. Like, Harry, Harry was, like, fit for both Slytherin and Gryffindor, and he was like, I want to go Gryffindor, and it was like, okay, sure. Can't be done. This person was, I don't know, so 50-50 <laughs> that they were right on the line. And the hat was like, like the, the hat just the hat. looked at her last name. The hat just looked at her <laughs> last name and was like, "Oh, I guess." Yeah, sure. It's no got worries. some. It's got some built-in function. You know, the four founders were like, "All right, if I send any of my kids here, if you get a kid with the last name Gryffindor, you just put him in my house, okay?" You know, yeah. they didn't think there'd be any weird cases, but now uh, Arabella Slitherclaw comes in and just. He just messes it all yeah, up. Yeah, it's yeah. like the three laws of robotics. The hat has to follow by it. <sighs> Fucking Rowena and S and Salazar yeah. couldn't just you know not not you know, just have not a make it marriage and kid and not <laughs> exactly. Make that kid. Why? Why the fuck? So they joined their last names together. I get. I get. This yeah, is it's getting it's not, dumber it's not, by it's, the second. It's, no longer Rowena Ravenclaw and Salazar Slytherin. It's Rowena and Salazar Slitherclaw. Wouldn't somebody Good job. have noticed that if they had joined their names together? No, they kept it a secret from everyone. So, mm -hmm. like, it's a secret for everybody. They did wizard magic so that if you look at their marriage certificate, they yeah. see that it's Slitherclaw, <laughs> but, like, the words rejumble back to the original names if anyone else looks at it. I but they still have a marriage also, certificate. Yeah, I guess yeah, they, they make a marriage one, certificate though. invisible or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just it's just a blank piece of paper. Hello. <laughs> Why do you keep this blank piece of paper and never use it? Oh, uh, no reason. Yeah, no, no reason. Uh, no, don't use that one though. Don't don't use it. No. Use no. Any just other put it, piece of put paper. it back in the drawer. Just no. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not telling you why I have a framed blank piece of paper. Come on. <laughs> I'm weird like that. I'm Salazar Slytherin. I'm a kooky, wacky guy. I'm Salazar Slitherclaw. I mean, Slytherin. Slytherin. Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you just get your old last name wrong? No. No, no. This is my last name. Right. Rowena, Ravenclaw, and Salazar Slytherin felt guilty for all that they thrust upon their daughter. She okay. didn't need the attention. Or the exile from other houses. Yeah, think, I guess okay, that's fair. That's a good point. Think about that. She has her own house. Nobody else goes in that house. She's not going to have any friends ever. Arabella, however, was still unaffected by this whole thing. I don't Maybe. even care. She, yeah, she's got <laughs> resting board face. Yeah. The founders were concerned as to where the girl would sleep, as she didn't belong to any of the houses. 
So they didn't just they yeah. didn't make a new house for her then. Luckily, Hogwarts I'm... has some back alleys. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> After a few words from the headmaster, which probably started with, um <laughs> What uh, the fuck? Oh okay. shit. Uh okay, um. well, <laughs> and this is unexpected. Yeah. Anyway, let us move yeah. on from this. <laughs> and the school song. The students went to their dorms to sleep. Okay, but where did Arabella go? <laughs> to their dorms to sleep. To their dorms she went to, to sleep. their dorms to sleep. Yes. <laughs> the next day at breakfast, everyone looked well rested for their first day of school. Arabella had Except a nice Arabella. nap in the, <laughs> in the back alley. Yeah. <laughs> People paid special attention to Arabella, who was wearing a Hogwarts uniform, but her tie and badge was different from all the others. I, okay. I mean, yeah. Her tie was the same pattern as all the other first years, but the colors alternated between Ravenclaw blue, silver, Slytherin green, silver, and blue again. Okay, Why so silver? instead of giving her, like, a new color for her for her uniform, you just have her uniform, like, pulsate colors. That's gross. Ew. No, that's no, no. Ew, no. <laughs> that's Why bad. do this? I was talking about this, like, earlier, not in this recording or whatever, but for all the generic idea of an OC having, like, rainbow hair or whatever, you actually don't <laughs> see that. Rainbow Until now. clothes. Until Pulsating now. rainbow clothing. Yeah. Uh, the crest was ever more confusing. <laughs> ever more. Ever more confusing. You probably shouldn't use confusing if you're trying to, you know, write a cool OC who's above all other rules. Well, no, you should use confusing. Mm. That's how I feel right now. The Slytherin exact. snake and the Ravenclaw eagle were put together, and the same okay. colors that were on the tie surrounded it. So was okay, it so like a the snake crest bottom also or a snake top? <laughs> yeah, well, how, you you put no, together a, a a snake and an eagle, but how? They were put half and half. Is it is like, it like split is it down the middle? Is it like a chimera that's missing a few animals? Or? <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, the frame was a deep purple color, not unlike that of the Slytherin crest. Since when is the Slytherin crest purple? What? Not unlike oh, the th that. I don't know. When she <laughs> Why isn't her outfit just purple? When she sat down at her table to eat breakfast, she was approached by one of the teachers. Can you come with me, please? And the girl followed silently. They went into a side room, off the Great Hall. The Founders and the Headmaster were in the room already, as if waiting for her. As perhaps if they as Perhaps if. they were waiting for her. They had, hmm. their, they had their, like, brass knuckles ready. They were ready to teach oh, this, no. this girl a lesson. Yeah. Oh no, how it, dare you make weapons. us do Arabella more Arabella Slitherclaw, it turns out you actually um, failed all your entrance exams. And they hold them up and it's just like... All the answers crossed out and rewritten in different font wrongly. <laughs> it's time for you to uh, get out of here. You're causing yeah. too much trouble for this school. Yeah. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> yeah. Can you please tell us where you slept last night? Because we haven't made a dorm for you. Wow, they're really sticking to this, aren't wow. they? Yeah, they're, they're, this, this is really is a the, problem. This is the one question that's going to get answered. <laughs> mm. So oh, it's an important master. question. Yeah. Of course. Apparently Hogwarts herself made a house room for me. It was exactly between Slytherin and Ravenclaw floor-wise. It was behind the statue of the giant snake bird or garter on the fourth floor. You need a combination of password and riddle to get inside. Is there anything else you want? <laughs> uh, I wanted uh, yes. answers, not that. <laughs> This explains nothing. It only creates more questions. Suddenly, a, an extra wing sprouted out of the Hogwarts building, I guess. <laughs> yeah. As, as you do. Yeah, as God. it does. She um, quickly answered. Oh, there it is. Um, Because I would like to have breakfast before my classes. This left the adults in the room speechless. Whoa. <laughs> and she took that as her cue to leave. Or that happened. Yeah, yeah. 
and that oh. profess and that headmaster's name was Albert, Albert Einstein. Einstein. <laughs> and then they handed her a crisp one hundred dollar bill. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no one has ever told the story of the creation of the fifth house. Probably because it's not one that needed to be told. The true story of the creation of Slitherclaw. Probably because that's not a real thing. There has only ever been the one student in Slitherclaw. After yeah. you know, after after she graduated after her seventh year, they just you know they they just got rid of it because nobody yeah. else ever I, had to go there. I like how this author thinks that the big stinger here is the fact that like. Like, the big sticker of this whole thing is, where did she sleep? And, like, the big stinger is, like, ha she got her own dorm, was invented. Like, that's, like... But the, bil- the building just gave her a bil- dorm like, room. I just like that. I like that that's everyone's concern. Is, like, where did she sleep? And, like, the big, the big dropper of a doozy of an answer <laughs> is, oh, the building just made one. And that's supposed to, like, stun everybody. They're, they're, it's a magic school, yet they're somehow surprised at this. Also, I just like the idea that they just let a night go by before before asking her, you know, do you need a place to sleep? Yeah, where, where did you, you sleep? You sleep? Well, I mean, after the big meeting, everyone retreated to the break room and busted out some uh, Jamesons or something. I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah. As, as finest happens. whiskey and just went to town on the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> God. Okay. Uh so yeah, that's it's a one shot. That's all we're gonna get. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I really wish I had more. There were more. Yeah. yeah. But uh we have seven reviews. Yeah, let's take for a look Slender at those. Claw. Let's start with seriously Phoenix who so, says Oh yeah, I see. Yes, yeah, seriously. I see, I see, yeah. Yeah. Made me laugh this. Wow. Good stuff. You are really amazing at writing. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I would not go that far. Uh, Red Phoenix Dragon. Nice imagination with Hogwarts caring for Arabella, but the password and riddle was a dead giveaway as to her magical heritage. And her, and last, her last name, name wasn't? And her last name. What do you mean her magical heritage? Her name heritage? is fucking... Heritage. Her- like, uh, is it right. her, her technically of magical her, heritage? Well, like her parents, probably. Oh. Yeah, her Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> your last name wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Pity the house only lasted while she was at Hogwarts. Thanks Pity for- this thing is non-canon to the entire Harry Potter universe. Yeah. For Thanks real. for sharing your story. Please continue to write. I was skeptical, but you made it work. Smiley face. I would totally be a Slither call. Ha <laughs> ha! Nicely done. Obsessive girl, all she has to say is LOL nice job, XD. <laughs> LOL. Toe rags. Says, Damn. You have no idea how much this made me laugh. I love this Too story. much, probably. I am Slitherclaw, <laughs> as says my pen name. Toe rags. <laughs> <laughs> then again, this was back in 2011. They probably changed it yeah, at I some guess. point. But still. And then we have just an Anon who's like, I like this. It's a plausible explanation. Is awesome. It, is it really? Just awesome, is it? underscore. And then Hopeful Dawn. I'm a Slitherclaw and proud, but I hate how Slytherin is always seen as the bad guy and that Ravenclaw is always seen as the bookworm. I really think there should be a house for someone who's kind as a Hufflepuff, ambitious as a Slytherin, noble as a Gryffindor, and creative as a Ravenclaw. Well, Since luckily, someone out creative? there is going to write about the, uh, the sixth house. <laughs> Hufflethorindor. <laughs> Hall. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, something like that. If you can figure out a good combo name for all four houses, leave a comment below. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm curious what people can mesh up in here. Yeah. Also, if you want to hang out with us, we have a public Discord available, link in the description, and uh, thanks for watching.